Hello and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I'm making a landscape soap. Uh, I had made a Moonlight Mountain soap previously and I was inspired to make a day version. So that was the moon setting on the mountains. So um, I had some extra soap batter and I have these little round molds and I poured them in here so I have little sunshines that I colored with love and sunshine. So that's what's my little sunshine um, for the mountain region of this daytime version <laughs> landscape. I am going to use a combination of, and I love this green, it's one of my favorite greens. It's from Brambleberry, Evergreen from Brambleberry. I love this color, it's wonderful. So that is gonna be part of the mountain range and then I will do a small wispy bit of white with this um, French white shimmer um, because you know I just want a little definition in the daytime mountain version. So that'll be sort of like the, you know, I'm thinking of like a pine covered mountain, has like green overtones for my daytime. <laughs> so uh, that's the daytime mountain version. And for the sky, I'm going to use from Nurture Soap, this baby blue, a little wispy, and I'm gonna lighten the batter with some titanium dioxide. In this bottle, I have in the bottom here some little stainless steel beads. You could put marbles, just something to help mix it as it sits. This is one part water soluble titanium dioxide to two parts water. And because I don't use this within a couple weeks, I do put a little bit of Optifen um, preservative in there. If you make it just a small portion at a time or you know you're gonna use it like in a day or two, you don't need the preservative. But I like to have this pre-made. It just makes it real easy for me to grab if I'm in a pinch. So that's how I do it. And that little noise you hear in there are the stainless steel beads. Um, I actually got this bottle from Be Scented. So, and they sell it with the beads for mixing. Um, so anyway, that's what that is for the daytime sky. For the fragrance in this soap, I chose us. Uh, what did I choose? <laughs> I don't have my readers on. Cedarwood and sage. And this is a really just fresh, um, and the cedar wood, I was thinking of a, you know, a piney mountain and sage, and I just wanted it to feel like, you know, the hills are alive. <laughs> sort of, you know, just beautiful sunlit mountain sky. So that's the fragrance today. It says that it discolors to yellow. So the TD is gonna help with the sky portion. For the mountain part, if it yellows up a little, that's fine. Cause you know, rocks and everything. So I don't mind that. So that is everything I've got for this landscape soap. I hope I can get the swirls. I really loved how my moonlit mountain came out. So I'm hoping to kind of duplicate that in a day version. That's the goal. Um, this will be a coconut milk soap and I'm going to do the milk in oil method, which I've been doing and really love. So I will talk you through that as I get going. So let me get my hair pulled back and get everything pulled together and let's make a day landscape mountain inspired soap today. <laughs> all right, I'm all ready to go. And what I've got going on here, this is uh, my oils with all the additives. I'm doing milk and oil. So the coconut milk is in here, the kale and clay, and the colloidal oats, and I have split the oils in half. So half is gonna be my mountain region, half is gonna be my day sky, and here is my lye solution, which is also split in half. Uh, and this has cane sugar. <laughs> I say this so much, it just sometimes I say it without thinking. It has cane sugar, tuss of silk fibers, and sodium lactate is in the lye. Um, and I did go ahead and put the fragrance in the oils because I wanted it evenly dispersed in everything. So since the fragrance is in there, I'm going to hand stir to emulsion and then we'll split off for um, my little, I got a little dish here to put that pearl white in and then the majority of it is gonna be that beautiful evergreen for our mountain, our day mountain. So let's get the lie in here. And it's a little cloudy looking because it's such a steep discount. Um, and the silk and everything. So that's why the lye looks a little cloudy. Just going for emulsion and then I'll stick blend as needed. And I wanna get this poured down and then let it thicken up a little and we can shape our little mountain region after it gets thick enough to, and, you know, to kind of move it around and manipulate it.
All right, I'm ready to get going on the sky portion. That was really fun. It's like playing with Play-Doh, <laughs> shaping the mountains. Um, and I do need the sky portion to be a little more fluid so that it will seep into all of the little cracks and divots and things in my mountain region. So the little crags in the mountains. Um, so I definitely want to keep this as fluid as I can. This fragrant oil is behaving really, really well, I'm happy to report. So that is a, a good thing. Uh, I'm just going to hand stir to emulsion again and split off for my titanium dioxide sky swirl in here. And I'll do my blue in the big pot because I want that to be the most dominant color. And I've got my little suns off to the side here. It's the next day. I can't wait to get in here and see how this dayscape soap turned out. Uh, it went through gel phase last night, so yeah. I'm anxious. Making those little mountains was kind of fun. It was like, you know, playing with dough or something. I enjoyed that. <laughs> I might have to revisit some more landscape soaps just because that's really fun to do.
right, I'm ready to cut into these. I just wanted to show you, even with the batter being so fluid on top, I just had a couple little air pockets on the sides, but that is not a big deal. So let's get the sample piece off. And I can't wait to see the colors on the inside. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Let's keep going here. I'm loving these. They make me smile. They do look like a sunny mountain day. The mountain and the sky are very close together in color. I, I wasn't expecting it to be that close, but those are really pretty. And happy, and this fragrance smells very bright and green. I like it a lot. All right, I'm going to get these all cleaned up. Uh, this is my KitchenAid vegetable peeler, and this is what I do to all of my bars. I just trim the edges down. They go in this bucket and I will either use this for confetti soap or rebatch these scraps. They do not go to waste. So pick my side, get my stamp. Link is in the description box below for the stamp and my handy dandy mallet. Give it a nice whack and there it is. And there's my day soap and there's the night soap. I'm really happy with how these came out. So happy. And these mountains were fun to make. 